clean. Yes, the person who does not know how to clean has become a professional cleaner. Ah! Yes, I did not know how to clean until I actually got the job. Cleaning is in the family. Of my first day on the job and all the things that go wrong. I am so upset! It was just this thick goo. And all of a sudden it was all over the floor of this bathroom. We have to take the bins with us. There's all the trash in my boot. Oh no. I went home and I cried. That's on me. Yep, yeah, I can see you've scratched the entire thing. Well, that was stressful. Oh no. There was an, a second huntsman. My car smells. Oh, it's bad. I don't know a story about the worst day of my life here. Every time I try to do good, something like this happens and all the things that go right. Guaranteed that whole scenario would have been easier to handle. The lesson that I've learned. I didn't realize how easy this is. Oh, I'm ready to take on that job solve the problem. To be a novice, I didn't ever think I'd get to that level. The stories, the winds and pitfalls, I couldn't open the front door. All because I wanted to do this TikTok hack. No working memory. That's what I forgot. I remember I was looking for something and then I couldn't find it because I couldn't remember what I was looking for. I can't afford to not have a brain today. What is the deal? Like this on Instagram. It's toilet stuff on the wall. Welcome to Dunwana, making dolls bills. Fun. I have this idea. Somehow I clean. And my day starts now. The executive functions just went, you know what? You haven't given me enough power for this. How did I become a professional cleaner? That is a question no one's ever asked me and will never ever ask me. Because no one would ever believe that I actually do it. But since you asked. When I was growing up, I was quite the grub. I did not clean. I didn't clean my room so much that I would attract mice into the family house. The mice would come to my room first. I mean, my room basically said, welcome all mice. I would have a little set of drawers right by my bed. In my room, ginger nut cookies. I remember quite often hearing during the night while I was trying to sleep, like, oh, what is this? Then I clapped. All of a sudden, I heard something scurry. Oh no! I've done it again because this happened quite frequently. It happened every winter. We have mice! So, what did I do about it? Picked up my pillows and my blanket and slept on the couch. That's how I dealt with the problem. I don't remember if I'm really using a vacuum. Now I have the backpack back. If you have a pack back vacuum cleaner, one, you don't have to worry about dragging them around. Two, it makes you feel like you're a spaceman. Three, it has this really long extender pole. See how long this thing is? Watch this! I'm getting all these spots. I don't have to bend down. I don't have to use my knees. I don't have to get up. I think it's a great method. Pack back. I really, really don't like vacuuming. The normal standard household vacuum is heavy. It's in the way. They're big. They're not easy to move. You've got to move the entire unit. I feel like I'm going to knock things over. And you can't just easily go upstairs. You can't vacuum the ceiling. It's annoying and get stuck and I hate it. Having a backpack vacuum cleaner is not only fun, it's practical. The instructions. I guess I gotta assemble this. It takes the weight off your shoulders. You can loosen the shoulder straps. It feels awesome. I played around with it. It feels really good. Now that it's been on my back for a while, I forgot how heavy it felt. This long pole. Adjustable. There's nothing in front of you except for the pole. This does something when you press it and you open it, like rock hits you in the face while you're vacuuming. The hose pipe. 1.2 meters. So let's attach this to my rocket pouch. How to remember it right and left. Righty tighty lefty loosey. The head of the vacuum cleaner moves ever so easily like a ninja. And there's only one setting. All purpose four tool. This means I don't have to change it. Carpets or tile. Red lip things. I need to learn more about vacuums. This thing does it all in one. Here are the nice wheels. This big thick thing that looks like a bag full of nappies. And then the cord is behind you, but the vacuum's like on your back, so it doesn't matter, it just follows you around. It has a disposable sealed SMS dust bag. Maybe it's this. Oh, so this is the blue room that I couldn't find before. Also, it could be worn as a hat. If professional cleaners are using this style of vacuum cleaner, you have to ask yourself what? To fit the disposable seal SMS dust bag, bag. Attach the disposable sealed SMS dust bag. This was the reason I didn't want to take it out of its box. I'm overwhelmed by the vacuum cleaner. 
push flap through seal. It makes the job easier. It gets a more thorough clean. It's just a whole better setup. Why wipe when you can back? Lift flap up. Now I've lifted flap up. I don't see any installation happening. If you've got teenagers, buy them a backpack vacuum cleaner. They'll start vacuuming. I might vacuum the ceiling. There's a lot up there. All right, I'm going to work now. Let's see how we go. Here's a story. When I was 17, I applied to be a kennel hand. 50 Jack Russells. So they all look the same. My outdoor pens with a nice roof. Then there was like these dog runs, like these dog play areas. It was just dogs everywhere. My job, help the owner clean out all the dog pens. I am a workhorse. I'm like an ant. I've been hired to work hard. That's what I, I will do. But what these guys did, that they wanted me to become a manager. Managing is not what I do. Why would you hire a teenager to be a manager? Especially one that had like a special agent help them get the job. I mean that's already saying something. There was no names of the dogs on their collars. So none of them had name tags but they did have their names on the door. Sometimes there was two to three dogs in there. The guy would just tell me go get Boof. Which one's Boof? And he goes look for Boof. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll look for Boof. Find the name Boof out of like 30 doors. When I found Boof, I looked in there and I'm like, hey Boof! And there's two Jack Russells and guess what? They both look at me. Like, which one's Boof? They wouldn't tell me. I'd bring him Doof. He would get annoyed at me because I brought him Doof, not Boof. He wanted Boof for something, but he got Doof. So I had to go all the way back and he would be like, no, I did that quite a lot. He said I should memorize their names, but the thing is they got new Jet Russells in every week. 25% of them change. He calls my agent and says to her, can she read? He thought I was illiterate. Rather than just some executive function issues, he thought that there was something very deeply wrong. It's a little bit like cut that he thought that I was really, really impaired, like way more. I mean, they live with these dogs. If you had twins, I'm sure you can tell them apart, but if you don't have twins and your friend has twins, you just pretend you know which one's which. They could have just put labels on the dogs. Collar with a name on it. Cheap name tag. Could have bought them in bulk. I couldn't believe it. If my chances were 50-50. I, I, I never gave him the right dog. I wasted a whole bunch of time walking from the kitchen to the bathroom. I couldn't figure out what to do next. The executive functions just went, you know what? You haven't given me enough power for this. The other big time waster, I'm tangling my vacuum cord. There is a cool way to make sure it doesn't get tangled. So your first loop is what you instinctively would do. Over, under, you don't want to fight the rope. Over, under, over, under. Like that one's probably not 100% right. When that twists, it's gonna kink up all over the place. Too much twirling also eventually damages the copper. Over, under. No worries. But I forgot how to do it. When you do an office clean, the main thing is make sure you put the security back on and make sure you lock the door properly. If somebody ransacks the place because you didn't lock it up properly, that is sort of unrecoverable as an employee. I pulled forward, instantly stepped back towards the car. I had shut the door on my jacket. And then once he told me, hey, did you go get me a plastic bag from the office? So I went to the office and I came back with a plastic bag. I wasn't even a quarter way up this long hallway when I saw him exhale like this. <sighs> I can hear you. Yes, I bought him a small shopping bag when he asked for a trash bag. That would only happen one time. Yes, I brought him boof every time instead of doof. I can't get anything right, but he hired me to clean the pens and I cleaned those pens really well. Those dogs had like a five star existence when I cleaned at the pen. Sprayed the bleach. I scrubbed the bleach. I got it all nice and dry and you've picked up 50 dogs poops. You put them into your pooper scooper. Then you went into the little garden shed. You would push a big clump of it into a little bin. I learned to hold my breath for a good minute. But there was one time I forgot. I was like, oh, I need to hold my breath. The breath hold that I normally take before entering the shed, I go like this. Well, I did that at point blank range. It went right up my nostril. All my taste buds got a piece of it. Once he asked me to take him to run an errand and I was wearing this nice waterproof jacket because it was raining. He gets out, I stay at the car, but I got outside the car and I just waited by the door here. He asked me to come over 
I went, he was looking at me, I pulled forward and then instantly snapped back towards the car. I slung shot myself back towards the car. It's almost like someone grabbed me and pulled me back. I had shut the door on my jacket and he just shook his head and that was the last time I saw him. Then I got fired. A week later, I got a phone call while I was out with my brother. My Nokia phone battery was very low and I knew what the phone call was. I knew what it was. He starts out really nice. He liked you as a person or something. I don't know. It sounded like my very first breakup. Just when he got to the bit where he was about to let me go. So, and I'm like, yep, here it is. Here it comes. The big kahuna. I'm ready for it. My phone dies. <laughs> he probably thought I hung up on him because it was dead for hours because we were out. There's probably something I've missed. I hope I didn't leave any rags in any of the room. I hope it looks clean. I hope all the bins are back where they're supposed to be. I can write a list and I can do a checkbox and I'll still miss something. And that's the life of a cleaner. So I always leave any job thinking, oh no, oh no. 